Today in our 2013 Nissan Rogue, we're doing a test fit of the Rocky Mounts Monorail Platform Style 3 Bike Rack. That part number is RKY10004-10005. Now we already have our bike secured down. We're first going to go over one of the main features of our rack, which is going to be our tilting feature. We're going to have a lever here at the bottom. That blue lever is going to allow us to tilt it as well as fold it to tilt. We're going to come here and lift slightly up on our bike rack while pulling out on our lever. We can tilt our rack away from our vehicle. Now with our ground in the way, it looks like we're not gonna be able to tilt it all the way down. That's okay, because we still have full access into our back hatch area to get anything in or out that we may need, even without it tilted all the way down. There's plenty of room to stand in between our bike rack and our vehicle to get anything in or out. And we're not gonna have to worry about removing our bike rack or our bikes. To put our bike rack back into place, we'll simply lift up until that clicks. Now how our bike is secured down itself, here at the back we have a cam buckle strap. We're just going to push on the cam, pull our strap through. At the front, we'll have a wheel hook. This sits either in front of our brakes or in front of our frame, depending on how our bike is made. Push on the button here at the bottom and lift up to release that pull straight down to ratchet that down. With those removed, we can take our bike off and set it off to the side. Now one great thing about our bike rack is that this does actually accommodate fat tire bikes up to five inches in our cradles here. We're not gonna have to worry about needing any other accessories and you will have an additional strap for the back tire to secure that in place. Our front cradle cradle also folds down in a more compact position for easier clearance. Now we'll take a few measurements here. First is going to be overall. This will be what we're adding to our vehicle. That's going to be about 41 and a half inches. Our ground clearance here at the back is going to be about seven, excuse me, 18 inches. And our closest point is gonna be about seven inches away. Now we do have that other position to put our rack into. It's going to be our fold up position, great for close quarters situations like parking, whether that's in a garage or in a parking lot. Once again, pulling on that handle and lifting up until it clicks. So now we're only adding about 12 and a half inches to our vehicle. Ground clearance of about 10 and a half inches. And our closest point is going to be about two inches away at our ratchet hook there. Now as for our hitch, this is designed to work with two inch hitches only. We're going to have a couple locks that come with our rack. First will be our cable lock that wraps around our bikes and secures here to our boss lock. This lock on the end is going to be key alike to our hitch lock, which you'll see here at the back. That also has an anti-rattle bolt connected to it with that anti-rattle bolt completely tightened down. It's gonna keep a lot of shake and play out of the rack as you head down the road. So that's gonna be our completed look at the Rocky Mounts Monorail Platform Style 3 Bike Rack, part number RKY10004-10005 on our 2013 Nissan Rogue. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.